For Mia? With no rust feed in the game? Militant. Okay. So it's tier list time. For Mia Militant. Lania, Ag Lania Agricultural. Albion Innovative. And Nordic Mechanical. Okay, guys. And we go first. Wow. Okay, so for me, a militant is SS tier. So the best of the best. Melania Agricultural is B tier, so about the middle of the pack. Albion Innovatives, middle of the pack at B tier. And Nordic Mechanical is pretty bad at C tier. Hey, Evil Tim. I got the internet worked out. So, yay. Thanks for, for giving me another shot after that. Uh, last few times have been a mess. So the way it was explained to me was the <laughs> Calyx says good game FOMO flaw. Lol. Uh, the name of the game is to try to stop FOMO. Yeah. So this may be Hey Jin Yi Wu. Appreciate the sub very much. Um, we got a trade for two metal out of Lonnie Agricultural. Going ahead and working on that first mech. This may be an everybody against me game. We'll have to see how this plays out. So the issue was basically the signal running to my modem was too strong. And as it fluctuated during certain times of the day, it would just overwhelm my modem and my speed would drop. So they just tuned it down a little bit and... I mean, on my end, at least, it looks like it's running smooth as butter, so. <laughs> All right. So we trade for two metal. I'm going to go ahead and produce. A lot of people produce and then trade two food to get an enlist right off. I like the turn three enlist. I think it goes a little bit better. Um, I'll be in Boxton versus Crimea. Yeah, I'm streaming. All right, so let's see what Polania Agricultural does here, because what Polania Agricultural often does is they go for um, a couple of upgrades first and then just trade outright for the max. So Albion not going for the village to start which is a little different. Nordic not taking their village so far, so that's good for them. Can't wait to see the replay of how bad I played. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get that enlist in our combat cards. So I'm really, I'm really curious how this Polania is going to play out here. Because we've got, we've got the speed mac now. And we've got one wood and one food on the ground. It was a produce action. Um, maybe it was just they needed something to do in between grades. Maybe they have a plan for those resources. I'm not really sure. So Albion's move is off cooldown. They can go for either encounter right now. They're going to go for an upgrade here. The upgrade is so good with Albion specifically because you can, as a lot of you guys know, you can move a with Rally, you can move a mech and a worker together, then move the worker another space, and then move the character all the way to the worker. So it takes up the whole move, but it's it's almost like having a speed mech for Albion. All right, so we're going to get the... Looks like we're going to get one upgrade out of Nordic on that deploy, and then the mill on the, uh, on the mountain. All right, so turn four for us. 
We're gonna produce again. Get to five workers. This is a pretty standard move sequence I use with Crimea Militant. I'm gonna work my way to um to eight workers and then uh produce the rest of my metal and then start come out of my base and start spreading out. Hopefully before anybody else gets too far across the board. So does Polani have four coin? That's the question. They do. They have five. And they're going to deploy the mech. So we get two mechs from Polani early in round four. So they're going to be on the factory in round six, which is pretty early. And that means they can... We can threaten our farm down here as early as turn seven. We need to keep an eye on that. We should be okay. They're going to be low power. Our cards are pretty good. Albion's got to worry a little bit about them stealing this metal, though, if they're still set up like this. So Albion just moved, and they got food off the encounter, which is great for them. $2 for four food lets them grab an enlist, such as the coin enlist. Um, it's a good one to get, and to grab two combat cards so they're not completely vulnerable here at three power and no combat cards. which one they take. What do we get out of them? They haven't picked it yet. All right, coin enlist it is. Unfortunately for them and for us, Polani has already got two mechs out. So that's two coins missed out on. I'm guessing we're gonna see either the produce, yeah, the produce, and probably a trade for oil out of Nordic next time. It's a solid encounter, says Nordic. He's not wrong. All right. I'm going to trade for one metal and one food. We're going to enlist. Grab that coin enlist. Get it out before any of Nordic's mechs. And let's grab power. Have a little bit more to work with in case Polani starts trying to attack us. <laughs> if you're live streaming next time, please let me know so I can put it on my other monitor get my movie glasses and watch myself lose in 3D. <laughs> I don't think I'm streaming in 3D. All right, Albion gets their first mech out. I've never seen this opening with Albion before. It's so interesting. But I'm guessing what they're going to do now is... move a worker over to here and then and the mech and then either move the other worker here and rally to the encounter or leave the worker on metal and produce for three workers and to get to two mechs next turn and nordic like we thought takes the upgrade on interestingly bolster rather than move and on deploy all right it's mech number one time in round six so we're going to move one worker here. And that's really the only move we need to make. We're only moving because we need to make a mech here. And this extra food comes in handy and saves us a card later. And since Polani is going to be threatening this farm pretty soon, use the other move to move the character there. Um, 
And we're going to use a card here, actually, because I know from running this before that I will need the metal that need this metal later on. Plus, it was only a two, so not that worried about getting rid of it. All right, Polanyi on the factory. And we got here just in time to avoid with them interfering with our game. Okay, we got two, two units on the factory. One downside of putting two units on the factory like this, it doesn't really apply here because no one's threatening the factory, is, I mean, I, I know why people do it sometimes. They think, you know, I put two units on the factory here, I'm less likely to get bumped. But then if you use the factory card and you move off of this spot, you leave this by itself. And especially if there are no workers here, it's really attractive for a combat. Plus, as Polania, once you take the factory here and you get your card, you don't really care if you get sent home, really at all. In fact, I mean, you're two spaces away from an encounter here that you could steal from Crimea. But on the home base, you're two spaces away from an encounter here that you could steal from Albion, and you're next to a lake in both cases. So anything adjacent to a lake, if you have submerged in speed, is basically have access to it anyway. Oh, they're not going to move to the village. They're going to stick with two workers here. And I guess that's it because this two worker Albion Innovative is it's crazy. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's it's so it's so different. Yeah, can we talk about Pol Okay, let's look at Albion's encounter here. It just moved again. I mean, does he have the pop? He has the pop. Number three might be pretty solid for him. Because if he gets the worker and the three oil, um, he's at three workers, which is good since he's not been close to the village. And the oil lets him turn around and trade for three food and then upgrade the... Uh, enlist so next move he's got enough food for an enlist so I I would have been really tempted to take that uh, that number three option so we get a seaworthy mech out of Nordic which I'll see we'll see what he has planned but I guess he's going to produce again and get to five workers and build another mech before he moves, so it doesn't really matter um, which he gets. So I guess it's whatever. Um, so now we're going to go to the worker star here. Get a couple more food. So this factory card, I've taken it before and I did not win the game, I took it. <laughs> not to say that you can't win a game when you take it. Um, Kaz, you like the factory card on Polania? I guess. But uh, I mean, I guess it's not bad on agricultural if you're not going to build buildings since your bottom row action for produce is, is build. But for any mat where your bottom row action on build is useful, I don't, I don't think I like it. Try that factory card sometimes. But I could see a case for it with the agricultural mat, for sure. All right, we get another produce out of Nordic here. It is worse than an enlist card, but it lets you get your workers while grabbing encounters. Yeah, that's true. 
I uh, one that I like that a lot of people talk bad about is the one card for three resources one. I like that on like industrial and innovative because you can grab you can go grab an encounter and get metal, and then turn around produce get workers and a mech. I always feel that's kind of nice. All right, so we're gonna trade again. And we're gonna get we could get a metal. We have to we could get two metal and enlist using a card. But if we get a food and a metal, we can delay using the card one turn. And if the card we get is worse than the one we have, then we have you know we've got an option. Um delaying the card one turn means maybe we can hold on to a better one. Guys, I don't see buildings or uh, upgrades in anyone's future right now. So, let's just do this. And... I don't guess it matters that much. Nordic might build? Maybe. It's a build bonus. Neighboring tunnels, that's good for that mill there. You may be right. Nordic to me right now feels like just the just this the Nordic mechanical mill start. Okay, they're gonna grab this encounter. One worker and two resources puts them at five workers. It's not bad. Was that a factory card? It was. Got some metal on the board now. It's nice. We'll see Polani at three max pretty soon. All right, Albion finally moving to the village. Set up to get their third Mac. That is the opening I do when I build or at least plan on holding build versus enlist decision until after seeing the factory. Gotcha. Yeah, it does keep their options open. You see that. Or mechanicals just can be kind of rough in that way. All right, there's the speed Mac. I'm a sucker for the two upgrade route instead of the mill. Um, yeah, yeah, it's second upgrade greater than mill. Yeah, because you get that you get that option for the power star and you also get um an upgraded move action, which is so key for spreading out late game. Um So Polani is putting some pressure on us here. But we've got to kind of spread our units. We're going to put six here because we need three more metal. And then we're going to move the mech here to protect the food workers. And we're going to move the character over here. Mm, combat card and a pop is tempting. We're only going to produce one more time, so three popularity, that gets us to tier two. Someone may block our factory and we may have to give it up, but it's hard to pass on that. And we're going to go river walk. And let's put it here. We've got more workers to move over here. And there's more to lose if Polani attacks this space and takes it from us. Let's see what chat's saying. Well, now that looks like GG. Wow, three pop. Everyone's so scared of Crimean Militant. It is good. Let's see if we see Riverwalker camaraderie here out of Polania. 
The th one thing to look for when you're next to a lake is whether Polonia has units on lakes. Because even if they don't, they can use the factory card to triple move and to hit you on the farm. Yeah, see there's Riverwalk. I'm glad we put the mech right here. But as long as they have no units on the lake, and they can't Riverwalk to you, they can't invade you. Hey, Axelo, one so had a technician out here earlier and he fixed it today. So it uh, should be working a lot better now. Basically, the signal was too strong and it was overwhelming my modem. And certain times of the day it was okay and certain times of the day it was just wrecking. Three pop, gotta be nice to be this popular. All right, there's Sword out of Albion. So no Burrow yet, but Sword, Shield, and Rally. Okay, you may be right, Kaz. It looks like Nordic may be going buildings. And he just got one right there if he wants it. $2 for three resources. Three wood there, bottom row action. Now that's number two building for Nordic. Wishing I'd taken that pop enlist now. It's okay though, we'll still, we still stand to get two more off his buildings if he completes that star. All right, now we are going to produce remaining metal that we need and importantly even though Polani is at six power they cannot currently hit us with more than one unit on this spot so it's pretty safe yeah Axela it was it was bad the other night you guys can't see what I can see, obviously, but I was dropping something like 77% of my frames. And right now I'm dropping 0.1%. Hey, VMer. You are up late, man. I guess it's not too bad. It's not too yet, is it? So what did Polania do? Hey, two. Enlist, they have agricultural, so they're up at 8 power now. What about Albion? 3 and 2. They're going to move off of that tunnel. Yeah, it was bad. Watch for five seconds, delay for 10. Yeah, I was, I just stopped streaming, called the ISP. I know it was unwatchable. All right, so we're going to move. And I'm low on combat cards. Nordic is not enlisting. Polani has just enlisted twice. Uh, I feel like I want to attack right there. Hey, thanks for the sub, Ascala. Really appreciate it. Axela. All right. We're going to try to improve our position a little bit here. Mm. 
And if I had more combat cards, I would totally use a, a combat card right there and save, save some metal. It was tough with you wearing the Tennessee shirt. Go dogs. Oh, you don't have to hate us, man. We haven't threatened you in a long time. All right. I miss in real life board games. Haven't had to play that, haven't been able to play that many since pandemic and everything, but. See, this is where Polania really needs to think about just trying to steal some resources from me. It doesn't help that much to steal the, the food, I guess, because I could just trade for two food and use a combat card. Two dollars and a pop. And there's an enlist we don't get a combat card for. Great. So Albion's at three power and two combat cards here. And no workers right there. They're a pretty good option for an attack. Attack Nordic and make them use a CC. I kind of want to keep tier two if I can, though, in this game. Another mech out of Nordic. I'd love to trade for a pop and use a combat card to get this last enlist, but uh Militant Crimean, no need of tier two. Doesn't hurt. Okay, we're gonna go food and metal. Plus Nordic's building twice more, right? Lania's power is no joke. Uh, objectives are higher ground and technological breakthrough. Part of the reason I wanted to come up to this spot is spread would allow me to, to pick up higher ground pretty easily. Okay, so Albion's double attacking Polania. And they soared them down to eight. Is this a bluff by Albion, or are they just holding some incredible cards here? Ooh, Albion uses both their cards. Well, Nordic attacks the factory this turn, right? There's no way they let Albion sit there and let us attack them. Thing is, they either have to throw power or they have to throw a card. In either case, we could attack them. Next round. I need two combats to end in one turn. I don't see I don't see two combats right now. 
They Nordic may give it to us though. We'll see. That's encouraging. Really didn't want Albion, don't want Albion to get sent home here, but I think it's unavoidable. Nordic has artillery. Nordic's got so much more power than us, though. Nope, Nordic leaves the tunnel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bluff, bluff, bluff out of Nordic. But we like that, right? Because now Nordic has one combat card. So we can guarantee win this for seven. I don't know where they got that other card from. Did they pick up an enlist? No? They must have traded for, bolstered for a card at some point. Odd uh, they didn't evacuate the wood spot. All right, let's get off this tunnel. We're gonna get artilleried is not ideal. Oh, they had a five. Hey, cheese chiz. Yeah, throw me a follow, man. Try to do this two or three times a week. Gonna use their own five to beat them. Uh, Factory is not that helpful, is it, guys? I almost hesitate to get this because I don't want to forget and mess up my objective. Let's do, um, do it anyway. We'll just skip the top row action. Let's put Wayfair right here. We're going to sit on the objective. Please, Chiz. Followed you when you weren't even streaming. Thanks, man. My YouTube videos help you crush your in real life friends. There you go. Never knew it hit him. We need Albion to come out. We need somebody to fight. All right, let's steal a card. All right, so let's think through what they're thinking. Uh, they can't afford to lose this, so they've got to throw something.
Yeah, they do. Couldn't afford to lose with them just throwing a card there. Thing is, we only have two power. All right, Albion's turn. What does Albion do? They produce. Go to eight workers. Okay, we're at 65 right now. I was hoping Pilani would stay down there, but no such luck, it would seem. Albion. Can't wait fair to Albion. Can't reach Albion. Um way fair to Nordic over here. Yep, GG. I'm gonna lose tier two, but it doesn't matter. Seven, eight, nine. After all that trash talking of Wayfair, I did, guys. I'm going to win a game with Wayfair. There's technological breakthrough. I wanted tier two Crimea though, but that's okay. Win's a win. Yeah, that's Crimea militant. Just so strong. No one blocked my tunnel. No one attacked early through. Plani didn't attack early through my lake. You don't block Crimea's tunnel or just harass them a lot early game. Militant's just going to steamroll everybody. <laughs> 